Welcome to Nerd vs. World, episode 40, Remembrance of the Nerds. I'm Brendan. I'm Spindles. And I'm Amy. And pretty much all we're going to do this show is geek out hard about SFW6, which we've all just come back from. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah. <sighs> we've got a competition as well, so... We have. Well, yeah. I guess we've got to start with the same apology that I gave on stage, yeah, which yeah, is, yeah, yeah. sorry we won the quiz. <laughs> I'm not sorry. <laughs> we weren't. We weren't trying that hard. I was trying. We were doing, so no, 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 no. We weren't holding punches, but you know. well, yeah, the thing is, is that yeah, I, I was kind of like, yeah, okay, let's do it for a bit of a laugh because yeah, after the appalling, <laughs> my, my appalling uh, performance Failure. on on Pointless <laughs> the year before, where I went out first, then I thought there was no fucking way that we were going to win anything, and then we kind of swept the board. <laughs> We cream, we saw. It was, it was awesome. We stole all your prizes. <laughs> we did, but we're gonna give you a chance to win them back. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm not sorry. You won the quiz. I'm delighted you won the quiz. That was. Uh, that was pretty cool was to pretty win awesome. it, but yes, yeah. And it was cooler as well because it was basically jeopardy. So yeah, they gave us all the answers. We had to work out what the questions were. Yeah, which was a nice touch. Um, and yeah, we got twenty six out of thirty, I think. Yeah, it was pretty good. Pretty cool. Yeah, it was a pretty was good. Twenty eight out of thirty. No, it was no, twenty six. Definitely okay. twenty six. Was that yeah. the next day then? No, the next day we got eighty one out of one hundred and ten. Oh. Yeah. but we came second. Came but second in the in the main quiz. Yeah, yeah. Is. that's because Simon and I went. No, we can't win it. We're, we're gonna uh, uh, we're gonna omit ourselves from the team. Yeah. No. Yeah, it is. I, I, yeah, I, it is. I backed out and I went and drank beer instead. Yeah. Oh, you should have been there. I could have won it twice the right. <laughs> yeah. It would have been so Yeah, cool. and then they would have gone, that's a fucking fix! <laughs> oh, we got shouts of Which fix. they did anyway. I know. Points, so. <laughs> we got heckled. We got heckled both We got heckled nights. for winning. We got heckled for winning and heckled for coming second the following night. Mm-hmm. But it was totally worth it. So, yeah, yeah we uh, on on the first night we won, uh, it was a World of Warcraft yeah. collector's edition. It's the collector's edition of Warlords of Grinor. Yeah. Which is, it's all the expansion. So you still need the full game to play it, but it's the box set with all the uh, behind the scenes stuff and yeah. videos. All the cool, funky stuff in a giant box. Yeah. <laughs> so we have that. What's in the box? What's in the box? Sorry. So we have that to give away. That's a pleasure. Um, and how are we going to do that? What's the competition going to well, be? Well, I, I, I say we just go with what it was, which is, yeah. you know, s- send in suggestions for an episode title. We'll yeah. pick the best one, and the best one we will Wins. use as a show name and, and give them the stuff. Yeah, okay, so... Get it in for the next show. Well, yeah. Next show, two weeks. So we'll, yeah, indeed. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, tweet at Nerd vs. World or at Wonky Spanner. Yeah, either one will do. Or just yeah, hashtag it with Nerd vs. World. Yeah. Uh, and just yeah, come up with an episode name. Have a look through on the website. You've got all the list of the, the episode titles we've had so far. I might even create a page just with all the names on them to make it a bit easier so, so people good. don't have to like, search through the website. So I'll put that up. We'll stick all that in the show notes. Yeah. And yeah, just send us your episode titles and we'll choose the best one. Yeah. And we'll send you out some stuff. Yeah, yeah. we've got stuff to give away. So yeah. We do. We actually have a buttload of stuff to give away because I, yeah. I was going to take a load of stuff with me to Sci-Fi Weekender, uh, but as it turned out, the top box doesn't fit on my new car, so I, didn't, I had nowhere near enough space. First of all, problems. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the 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 clamps that put it on the bar is too wide now on the new bars, so I can't. You cut the clamps don't fit around the roof bars, so I can't actually attach that top box to my car anymore. Mm-hmm. No. So, anyways, that meant I couldn't bring a ton of stuff with me, so I have even more stuff to give away, and we'll deal with that over the next few shows, because I've got fuck I've tons got of promo of stuff that I've yeah. ended up with over the last yeah. couple of years. So and I'm there's a couple of things away. in there that I really want, so you're lucky <laughs> bastards. So, yeah, I'm yeah, going to give stuff away. We'll basically try and get yeah. lots of stuff to yeah. give away. Yeah. I might swap it with a pair of my underpants, so I'm just the pants. Nobody wants your underpants. Nobody wants your underpants, Amy. Like, <laughs> not even Booby Jap- prize! Not even Japanese businessmen want your underpants. <laughs> I'm sure... I'm sure no. I probably could sell. <laughs> I'm sure I probably could sell them to a Japanese businessman, but yeah, 
Anywho, so <laughs> that's the apology of the competition out of the way. So yeah, that's the real sorry, not sorry. About yeah. It. So that well, I don't know how we approach this. Are we, are we going to go on about stuff we enjoyed the most, or do it in chronological? Oh, I don't know. Just just blur highlights. Just personal highlights again. Go on, Bren. What you, you okay. get it off your chest? Everyone. Best bits. Uh, best bits. Everything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Not gonna lie, fanboying out hard over Sophie Aldred and Sebastian McCoy. Yes. Getting to sit down and chat with them for podcasts, which we're gonna put together, and they'll be out next Friday. Yeah, Friday. so we'll, we'll, we'll do an we'll do an interim episode. Yeah. Uh, so we'll we'll put out the the Doctor Who special, the Doctor Who special yeah. to accompany this. That'll go out next Friday. Yeah. So that was that was just. I I never thought back in eighty seven when I'm watching Rumors of the Daleks that one day I will not just be meeting them but sitting and chatting with them. Yeah. And then pointing out to Sylvester McCoy where Orion was. Uh, yeah, that's that's got to be yeah. a highlight of the weekend. Yeah. Standing so, so on gets, on a balcony oh, we, pointing McCoy, out where Orion no, is to the doctor. doctor yeah. Pointing out where where constellations are. That was yeah. just the most incredible thing. Um but everything with him was awesome. And especially the interview with Robin Ra- Robert Rankin. Mm. Yeah. Because he did that wonderful and moving tribute to Terry Pratchett mm. which resulted in pretty much everyone in the main void who wasn't in tears and who was in tears just standing and giving like a minute's applause mm. which I think was just like the best way I, the best I way missed it that. Oh, I, I unfortunately had to miss it because I was interviewing it for the other, oh, yeah. other site I mean that was for me that was a hard I think for a lot of people that would be a memory that they'll keep Never, for a while yeah. Yeah. I think myself and uh, Verity from the Geek Camp Girls, we tracked him down afterwards and just chatted with him at, at his stall and just, just saying thank you, basically, for what he'd said. Yeah. Because that was like a, a, a bit of a blow going into the weekend. Yeah. 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 So, so very exciting. But he was celebrated and celebrated well. And it was a wonderful Rincewind costume. Yeah, there I was. saw the guy wandering around there was. Rincewind. Yeah, was, that yeah. was pretty awesome. The cosplay was top notch this year again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there were some so cracking cosplays again, this year. I had to miss that one, didn't you? Well, I, di- I didn't see the cosplay final, but I, mean, I saw a lot of the cosplay. Oh, yeah, the, out- the clothes. Yeah, a lot of the, the outfits, outfits kicking yes. around. Yeah. Yeah. So that was cool. Um, what's well, really interesting, Sophie Aldred just looking out the window in the owner's lounge and seeing Spider Man and Batman. Oh, my God, that was so hard. Pedaling past in go karts. So <laughs> difficult. Trying to that trying was... to look at Sophie Aldrin and talk to her about stuff while Spider Man is pedalling around in a go kart in the car yeah. park, no. and also somebody wandered past with an Ace bomber jacket on. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And I was like, I've got I've got to concentrate on do, on yeah. talking yeah. in the room rather than what's yeah. going on outside. Did Did you see Captain America and the turtle in the um in the electric bike? Yes, go, I did. Go yeah. out yeah. before yes, Spider Man turned yeah. up, and I was like, for fuck's sake, yeah. this is so fucking yeah. surreal. Yeah. <laughs> But it's it's one of those moments that always lends to <laughs> surreal moments like that. Oh, absolutely. Like the, was it a year ago or the year before last where Pac Man led a conga line with a? Yeah, with that a, was last year, wasn't it? Was yeah, it last, year? last year. Yeah, with the four yeah. ghosts behind him. Yeah. yeah, but that came that 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 left the the actual dance area and actually came outside yeah. and got very drunk and I remember there were some very bizarre things with Pac-Man and Chewie going on there. Oh, drunk Chewie. Yeah, <laughs> drunk and Chewie. Drunk Chewie's the greatest. <laughs> Whoever you are, I salute you because you make my sci-fi yeah. weekender just so much more fun. Drunk yeah. Chewie's the best. Yeah. Um, other highlights? Just meeting just loads meeting of people. new people and making well, friends. Again, know? Just a Minute Seriously. was fantastic. Oh, Just a Minute. Oh, was great. I thought Sophie was going to crush that. I thought she was yeah. just going to run away with it. Mm. She was on fire. But yeah, no, I think. Point brought it back. Yeah, just a minute. It, it's always one of my favourite things yeah, at that yeah. event, and yes, and getting getting Sylvester McCoy and Sophie Aldred up as part of it yeah. was inspired, and that was really cool. And that awkward moment where Sylvester McCoy opens the lament configuration on stage. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment, it goes to pretty much everybody on stage, and everybody's like, "What is this? <laughs> what do you mean you've never seen Hellraiser?" Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah What's your that's, pleasure, Mister Cotton? That's great every year, though. Yes. Yeah, just a minute. It's one of the, the highlights. Yeah. I got mistaken for somebody else. Oh, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> one, one, wandering back from the Sophie Aldred interview at about 11, I get stopped at security because they're checking all the passes. And then he's just like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah. 
Hello. You sober? It's I wasn't in the, drunk. <laughs> it's, it's 11 in the morning. Yes, I'm, I'm sober. Do you remember last night? Looking, I'm, I'm just more and more puzzled now. <laughs> so you were all drunk with your arm around me, telling me that was your greatest friend in the world. And that's when she stops and sees the puzzled look on my face. <laughs> and she's like, you're a different person, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this, is, this is like totally awkward right now. <laughs> So like there's someone on site looks just like you. They have your beard and everything. I was like, okay. But um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. It wasn't me. So whoever you are out there, drunk <laughs> Brendan clone, you can get him into so much trouble if you really try. <laughs> Carry on! <laughs> every, every time I walk past, after that, she's like, sober? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> she, she didn't let it go. It was great. The oh, security my... guys were actually top yeah, class. Yeah, the security yeah, were yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. the, the guy who was on the, the VIP lounge most of the weekend, oh he was he was awesome. He, he yeah. had a fair sci-fi knowledge on him as yeah. well. Only thing he didn't like was the um, one man Lord of the Rings. Mm. He didn't like yeah, that guy. Yeah, didn't like that. No. But I was like, well, he should have him. But he's yeah, quite funny. I mean, I, I, yeah. I, I thought he was all right. Yeah. Uh, Megan hated there, it. There were some issues yeah. with it. Um the people at the back trying to do the signings couldn't have conversations with the people they were signing with yeah. because he was really loud. Yeah, he was. He, he was um, you know, obstructively loud. Yeah, from unnecessarily loud. Well, no, not, not, not unnecessarily. He was totally necessary okay. for his act, but he he was just getting in the way of anybody Other being things. able to talk at the back. Right. Because um, yeah, uh, uh, Sylvester McCoy came off and he was like, I've got a headache. I mean, that was really loud. Couldn't talk yeah. with people because that was just going on around him um so that, it's it, it's one of those things where they move stuff around sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't i don't think having signings at the back of that worked no, no it didn't no. but to be honest that's the that's the complaint every year pretty much there's, there's, there's always, always there's something always, that clashes, yeah. clashes yeah, there's yeah. always a logistical issue yeah. every single year because yeah. it was signings versus uh, the, the the v for vendetta yeah. Well, no, sorry, it was the cosplay sign-up versus V for Vendetta was the big Yeah, that was, issue. That was a bit of silly, that one. Mm. But um, to give them the juice, they try something new every time. Yeah, absolutely, it. yeah. They're trying yeah. different configurations, and, yeah. you know, it will settle, and one That's of them fun. will be perfect. Indeed, yeah. yeah. I, I did, I, I had my doubts, and I was, I was a bit confused by little bits and pieces, but I think the cinema screening um, in the void? No, in the, the spaceport. Space 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 sorry. Space. Um, in the spaceport actually worked well. I think it did work well. I think well. that worked well. Um, I think, I it think was okay. Yeah. I, it wasn't it wasn't separating people too much. Yeah. You know, you could come out and mingle with the other people from the you know, the spaceport and the void could mingle and then go back to But again that's doing. gonna be handled differently next year again because they're gonna put the screening room back on during the day again because yeah. it was only running at night this year. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, but it, I mean, if it's running during the day in where it was, it won't work so well, but the fact that it was at night in where it was yeah, worked really worked, well, and yeah. I thought that was a bloody good idea because yeah. you don't have to dance and boogie and yeah, listen no, to really loud I, music. I, I, I you liked, can sit and chill, yeah. have a beer and watch I it. I liked being able to sit in there a lot later because last year we were kind of... Kicked yeah. out at midnight. Yeah. 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 Cause, and we just wanted somewhere to sit quietly and chat chill. and yeah, have absolutely. beer and relax. Uh, and that's we why time. it worked. Yeah, yeah. You know, we got to sit and have beer, yeah. watch Galaxy Quest. <laughs> Quote along Galaxy Quest. Yeah, yeah, all good fun. <laughs> Those quiet long shows were really good. Yeah. I remember the SFW three, the first one I went to. It was Sing Along Buffy. Ah, that was the, yeah. Sing Along Buffy. Yeah. That was great. <laughs> yeah. That was a lot of fun. Oh dear. I was dressed as uh, John Snow from the Night's Watch. Oh, okay. We had <laughs> Lilu, <laughs> the defendant was there, and Marcus was uh, Bath. Because that was the first year I met you. Because yeah. I met you on the very last day. <coughs> I think I came up to you. In you the, came in up the and went, are you spindles? Like, I was like, yeah. <laughs> You're from I, Oxford, aren't you? Who are you? Yeah. yeah. Like, this, this is going to be weird, but do you know of a club like called Intrusion? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was where I was. Yep. Yeah. That was a really good con. I mean. Well, it was a, that was Prestat in grad. So yeah. it, was, it had its issues. <laughs> <laughs> but it did have mm. a lot more comic book presence. Definitely, so yeah. I had uh, Tony Lee, yeah. Mark Miller was there, yeah, Charlie yeah. Melville was there. Well, because that was in the days when it was it was SFX, SFX yeah. so yeah, it was, it was a very, very different beast then. That's yeah. the type of calibre of guests that need to start getting back yeah. as well, I think. It is, yeah. 
it is. And I'm sure they will. You know, they, they, they've taken on board feedback, so you yeah. know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what already, happens this year. They've already responded Next to year. feedback. Yeah. So. I think the HIH thing is going to be a clash still, but if I'm honest, that it wasn't, wasn't as, too much of a clash. Yeah, that wasn't as much of an issue as I as I worried that it would be. Yeah, no. Likewise, no. I'll, I'll, I'll go with that. Yeah, yeah. It, it didn't impact <coughs> on my weekend <coughs> negatively at all. No. Nope. In fact, you know, it was it was kind of nice on the Thursday night. We were all chilling in the in the mash and barrel. Yeah. I went back, had a listen to some of the bands, took some pictures, and it was re- it was chill. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you know, I I could have gone and seen more bands, but you know I was quite happy with with the interaction that I had with it. Yeah, yeah. it was all it was all yeah. cool. Dip in, dip out. As, yeah. as, as much as you want, and I yeah. think that was cool. The only real issue caused by it was in the trailer zone. Yeah, but there was other issues there too. I mean, it was Cardiff Comic Con weekend, yeah. and it was MCM Birmingham ex- uh, weekend as well. Yeah. So yeah, but still, it was very much of a metal based. Type. Yeah. Yeah. And it would have been nice to have seen a lot more sci-fi, comic books, that kind of stuff at the stalls. Yeah, but Forbidden Planet, for example, they they had to choose which con they went yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I'm not knocking that, but it, yeah, it would have been nice to have Cause had that, a good cause, mix. Because Danny Ware didn't tell anything, and she wasn't yeah. there. No. Which that I wanted to say hi. Um, yeah. Yeah. Say hi now. I said hi on Instagram. Uh, so other highlights though. I've played Ingress. Ah, yes. Yes. Um, I have this app called when, Ingress. Oh, yes, yes. Just, yes, just yes. To, put, to put these into perspective, this was uh, on the Friday, Friday night, night yeah. uh, when all of us crashed. Apart from Bristol. I Bristol. up. I thought you crashed as well. You crashed as well. No, because I was talking to you before you went out to do your Ingress. Yeah, well, you were lying in bed. Yeah, it didn't I mean was I was like, crashed <laughs> out of sleep. Yeah, okay, technicalities. Big we were all in bed. Let's <laughs> put it that way. Yeah, that was Friday night. So Ingress <laughs> basically is this ARG where they've mapped, they've taken Google Maps and they've picked landmarks and this landmarks become portals. And you play one of either two teams fighting for the power of the portals. And there was three portals on site. You know the uh, you know you have the wooden sheep dog in the sheep? Oh yeah. Someone had marked that as a landmark. That's cool. <laughs> so... I'm navigating via a phone <laughs> like around a fucking around, around midnight trying to find all the points that these resonators. Oh, that is actually pretty funny that you had to actually chase around. You had to chase around a fucking sheet to find the yeah. fucking portal. <laughs> so that was that was fun. Sorry. And I figured as well if anyone stopped me and said, "What are you doing?" I'd be like, "I'm playing a game." I'm, I'm looking for a, I'm looking for a portal behind this wooden sheet. <laughs> and they'd just be like, "Fair enough." No. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, whilst in Wales, you know. So, so that was cool. I should manage to play that game. I think it was because the site had Wi Fi. Mm. Yeah. The Wi Fi was better this year than all It was a year. lot better this better, year. Yeah. yeah. When, when you could find the side of it, but you know. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I expect I have to pay for it. Yeah. It's not an issue. I'm trying to think of other highlights. Because I left, I made the decision to leave Saturday night, relatively late ish. The intention being that I spent the entire day of Sunday, Sunday, back in Oxford, working on my master's dissertation proposal. Um, you just crashed all day. I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why I booked Monday off, so I had a crash day yeah, before. No, I'm not gonna lie. I I was falling asleep on the drive back. I didn't get back to Oxford till about half past two. I think. In the morning. Um, you should have stayed. <laughs> I should have. And I was in work. I came in here to try and work on on my proposal, but ended up playing Dota two. Mm. Pretty much all day, dude. Yeah, I know. I managed to get the proposal written. Bad, Brendan. Yeah, I know. I'm the worst. I suck. <laughs> I'm so. I'm so. No biscuit for you. I'm so bad, which is good. I, I fucking lived on biscuits over the weekend. Did Those Bell Vita oh, yeah, breakfast yeah, yeah. biscuits yeah. were like they don't fill me up. Enough, that man. and Burger King. That's yeah. all I ate. I ate a lot of shit over the weekend. I went with loads of healthy stuff with me. You know, like fruit and and that. No, I I came home with all the fruit. Uh, no. Bar, a, bar an orange that I took with me. <laughs> oh, what about that Papa John's we, we tried oh, to that was, that was bad. Yeah, I, I, I tried to eat it all of them. It was a car crash. It really was. It was. It was awful. They got the order wrong and then like, they dropped it and kicked it all the way over. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't, wasn't, it wasn't pretty. But no. yeah. did, um, did they ever tweet you back again? Well, they, they said it doesn't look right. I'm mm. thinking, well, no shit, it doesn't no look shit, right. It's, it's a right. mangled pizza. Yeah. Yeah. But no, they didn't. Get back to me. Oh, okay. But yeah. never mind. It's fine. 
Yeah. The food's never exactly a highlight. Uh, no, <laughs> no, it wasn't. Well, luckily, I that didn't was get... a fucking very low point for me. Yeah. I didn't get as drunk me. this year as I normally do. Normally, the Thursday night is like mm-hmm. the night I hit it hard. Yeah, I did. <laughs> but this year, I didn't drink. This year, I was like, well, yeah, I didn't yeah. drink to the, to the excess excess that I had in the past. Yeah. So I didn't need that pizza quite as much. If I'd been pissed, I would have fucking eaten the entire thing, yeah. regardless of what it looked like. Um, but then I think, for me, as great as meeting Sylvester McCoy and all that I said how it was, the big highlight was when we met people who listened to the show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and got high fives. And got high fives. And very high fives. And I was just like, oh my God, do you know what this means? This means we can't phone the shit in anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this means we have to take this shit responsibly. <laughs> phone this shit in. Yeah, we, we, we have to actually think about what we say and plan shit and stuff and you know plan shit and stuff that well planned stuff. yeah <laughs> yeah that, that was my initial response <laughs> yeah and then like we've come to record as like back to the same old shit <laughs> but yeah i've been kind of yeah i, I can't i can't work ad hoc anymore either <laughs> but that was really cool yes that was, was very so very it cool. was awesome thanks for the high five yeah, thanks <laughs> for the yeah that was that was very cool <laughs> And once again, awesome costumes. That was the, yeah. the future armor bunch. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Oh my god, I got a awesome bunch. costumes. That yeah. was very good. It was you really guys good. are the kings of cardboard. Yeah. Yes, I love, they are. Yeah. I love the costumes yeah. every year. It, it was the um, oh, what the hell? It was the Lego cat. That I, got, mm, I got a high five from. Ah, the catacorn the, thing. Yeah. yeah. Unikitty. Yeah. Unikitty. Yeah. Unikitty. I got a high five from the Unikitty. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That was really fucking weird. <laughs> Yeah. Sweet. Fucking unity. <laughs> I I had tons. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was a, it was a really really busy weekend for me in comparison yeah. to, to previous years because you know last year I did the one interview which I spent the best part of two days stressing about yeah, before it happened. Yeah. This time I was I was considerably more chilled. I yes, think. You were. yes, you were. Uh, and less of a grumpy man. Less of a grumpy old bastard. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was all <laughs> good. Um, but. It, it ended up that, in, as well as doing the interviews, I ended up driving people around the site yes. a lot. So my new car has been well and truly christened. And over the course of a weekend, and boy, I have you driven around awesome stories from that the too. commander of the Night's Watch and General Veers in my car. So it's a pretty awesome start for a new car. Yeah. Yeah. Do you but, know what would have been a, an awesome highlight? I know he didn't do, but that would have been awesome if, if General Veers had, had been sitting in your car going, aim for the generator! <laughs> when he got in the car... That would have been fucking brilliant. But yeah, so yeah, he was really lovely. Um, but I, I, he, he he was kind of full of cold and he, he had a few cracked ribs. rib and stuff. So he asked me to kind of slow down, go drive really slowly over the big speed bumps that yeah. were all over the site. Um, and then later on, I was driving James Cosmo around and he was <laughs> like, oh, could you slow down? I was like, oh. Shit, so is he broken? So I was like, okay, I have to slow down. I was like, what the hell's wrong? And then before I know it, he's wound down the window and he's a bunch of people walking past in kilts and he leans out the window shouting, fucking sweaty socks! <laughs> the guys who wanted to pass it, it's like, yeah, you didn't want me to slow down because you were hurt. You wanted me to slow down to hurl abuse at passers by. It's like, yeah, fair play to you, sir. Yeah, but yeah. It's James fucking Cosmo. Yeah. <laughs> do whatever the fuck he wants I, I, I'm gutted that we weren't in the bar on the Friday night now Indeed. because apparently James Cosmo and Sylvester McCoy hit the whiskey hard, hard. on the Friday yeah. night and that would have been awesome that would have, that would have been a fantastic conversation to hear them two over a bottle of whiskey because <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I had a couple of drinks with James Cosmo yes. on the Thursday night and he's such a lovely guy he, he was yeah. he really is because yeah. I before the, I had a bunch of questions on my phone that my dad had sent through because my dad grew up in the same town, they went to the same school, they worked in the same shipyard. So my dad had sent through a whole bunch of things that like kind of like, well, I, I have no idea what even half of these mean, so I'm just going to give you these. And he went through them and I was like, oh yeah, this and that, and he gave me a whole bunch of responses to give back. It's like, yeah, that, that was so cool. <laughs> That's very cool. So that was, that was pretty awesome, driving people around. Um, and then... Ended up uh, backstage before the just a minute. Uh, 
for about 45 minutes just chatting to Sylvester McCoy and Sophie Aldridge just backstage yeah chilling I missed and that one as it well was, it was lovely just that. yeah just nice and relaxing backstage yeah. yeah that was that was a lovely time so it was really nice um well the highlights god uh I said just a minute obviously was was yeah. top notch as usual well, yeah um, uh, Heidi, while I'm thinking, me, oh, well, yeah, we've covered quite a few of mine already anyway, but we, um, you did more of the prog rock side of it. Well, just we w- one particular part of that one, but with the side where we can end this stuff, we're just sitting down with the rankings, having really nice uh, general, yes. you know what I mean? It's we always, love you, it's, rankings, we do, you're we do awesome. love you, rankings, yeah. <laughs> and it's just such a, such a pleasure to sit down and chat with you as we do. Mm. Um, yeah. And that really appreciate that. The I pleasure. Still, I still need to be introduced to Heidi. Really? Yeah. Oh. Well, how, come I, how come he got introduced to them and you didn't? Um, I, I, I was talking to them last year as well. Yeah, I've never really um, chatted to them. Okay. I, I was I was on their quiz team last year. We have to make that we have, we have to make that right. Yes. I, I was on the Thursday night quiz team with them last year. Uh, stood next to Reagan and she was writing on my yeah. shoulder yeah. to do the quiz. Okay. And hmm. yeah, yeah. We will have to rectify that sir. Yeah. Yeah, because the the usual happened and on the way back ended Indeed. up bumping into them at Telford Services. Yeah. <laughs> which is just like yeah. Well, we were like, well, I wonder if we'll bump into the... Oh, there they are. There are. they are. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently they were sat at a table at that yeah. point going, wonder if didn't we bump into yeah, the, Megan year. and her family last year? It wasn't, it, it wasn't Spindles, Spindles it was, it was Megan, Megan and, and her, her family. family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see yeah. who the important one is in the family. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, we, we do, and, and yeah. Yeah, we, we, we know you, you, you weren't, they weren't so uh, well coming up to it, and... It was all a bit stressful just before, but hey, it, was, it was great and did a great thing on stage too. Mm. Yeah. That they were a big highlight for me because they're just such lovely. They're always kind of the heart and soul people. of that event. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Which is why I, I love those guys so much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that was a highlight. But yeah, I, I did. Yeah. Festival of the Spoken Nerd again. Oh, absolutely, stunning. yeah. Stunning, yeah. Stunning performance. And it was great to have. Uh, um, uh, it was great that they all well they weren't all there were they no they lost one they, they, they gained they, one they, and they lost gained another. one and lost one yeah, yeah so yeah. Where, where last year it was just Matt and Steve this year it was Steve and Helen and yes. they got an, another guy in to do big data stuff and yeah. yeah it was all really good some of the same stuff but some new stuff as well it yes. was uh, yeah I, I'm I'm looking forward to their new show because they're touring in November. I think it is around October, November time because they're coming to Digcot to Cornerstone okay, cool. in uh, in November. So they've got yeah. a new show called Just for Graphs, <laughs> which I'm uh, very much looking forward to. So yeah, they they were fantastic. Yes, yeah, they were. Cool, cool, cool. cool. But yes, as as you were saying, when it was a a dual wielded weekend, so um, I managed to well the. Or was it the the promoters for some of the bands got in touch with us and, and asked if we were up for interviews so mm. I managed to get down and have a good listen to a really cool band actually called Agent they were great good but uh, I'll post that out because I had a interview with them we'll put that on a, as a yeah that will probably go out as a wonky cast as, as a wonky yeah. cast yeah. We'll, yeah. so we'll put that on uh, yeah. online in the next week or so because we've got a couple of wonky casts to go out yeah. Which weekend. obviously a highlight which is why I haven't even mentioned yet. <laughs> yeah, which is why I, I don't want to put too much into it for, for, for this show. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do an independent monkey cast about those guys. But really did good. Did we record both on Sydney? Yes, we did. Do you got Julian Glover and Dan yep. yep. Wow. Yes, we have both. So yeah, that was the other highlight of the weekend was obviously the, the Game of Thrones double header that uh, myself and the lovely wife did. So Emma interviewed Julian Glover and then I was afterwards into interviewing James Cosmo. And yeah, it was great. Yeah. It was really good. Emma did a cracking she job did. for she her did. first time she doing did. interviews on stage. Yeah, she was, yeah, she, she was did really good. Yeah. So yeah, very very proud. It was it was it was a good, a good Friday. That was. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was very very cool. <laughs> but that's why we were exhausted on Friday night because it was all the kind of stress of doing yeah. all of that, and it was just like, and it's done, ah, and relax. 
Yeah. So we just kind of got back to the, the caravans and we're just like, right, okay, we'll just lie down for an hour and then we'll get up and think about going out again. Yeah. It's about nine o'clock and Megan's like, they're not getting they're up. Not getting up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, probably not. <laughs> She's like, they're not getting up. I'm going to raid the fridge for all the... Yeah, all, all the Rio. All the Rio. All the Rio. All the Rio, all the Rio and well, find my parents all the chocolate. Well, mainline I'm, sugar. Yeah, I'm going to steal all the chocolate and drink all the Rio while they're asleep. Right, I'm high as a kite yeah, on sugar. Fine. Brendan, I want a sword fight. Yeah. Ah! So, yeah, I don't have a lightsaber fight at half past ten at night. <laughs> I'm a sugar high kid. Uh, <laughs> sea world, we're responsible parents, honest. <laughs> it's okay, there was two responsible adults. Well, there well, was two adults. <laughs> there was two adults there. The, the was same two adults that, that took on the uh, the, the, the five two. and four year olds. Yes, yeah. <laughs> they had also. nerf guns. <laughs> they had nerf guns. They were shooting us in the <laughs> face, man. We were defending ourselves. I had, I literally had like welts from the point blank shots, <laughs> shots to the chest. chest. Yeah. Trying to block Nerf darts with a lightsaber like a, like a, <laughs> like a fucking <laughs> Jedi. <laughs> that was cool though. <laughs> Should have lowered the blast shield, dude. <laughs> we didn't even get off the porch. No, no we didn't. No, no flying on the porch. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, but they were lethal shots. They were. It's, yeah, they were Nate aiming was, to the face. He was pretty square on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was headshots. Yeah, like, it was, was headshots. They, the they were blatantly aiming for the face. Another interesting highlight was the uh, apocalypse yeah. that happened on the... Oh, oh so my God, God, that was awesome. When we just bumped into that family. Yeah. With the... Uh, and they, they had the eclipse glasses. And yes, the that, was, that was so but sweet. My highlight was just that he was the walking along in the morning with yes. lilies. screaming. <laughs> <laughs> screaming, it's a zombie apocalypse! <laughs> <laughs> you could just see the smiling faces in the caravans as just these small girls running along screaming about zombie in apocalypse. In the middle of the, <laughs> middle of the eclipse. Really I, was, I was trying to think of like every, half eight in the morning. <laughs> every film half with an nine. eclipse in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was it, because you, you were going, the whole Lady what, what cosplays concept. are we going to get? Yeah. Lady Hawk. Yeah. So that was that cool. was fairly ingenious. Yeah. <laughs> Getting to time it with a, a full-on eclipse that only happens yeah. once every 60 years or something. For the Prog Rock Festival, everyone tripping balls. Yeah. In the yeah. How did we all do on the uh, Prog or SFW? Huh. As in trying to figure out whether people were there for prog or SFW. Oh, yeah, oh was, that was pretty blatant. I, yeah, it was quite. It was quite obvious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lo- <laughs> load, load of fifty plus dudes with dreads, stinking of weed, yeah. and then a load of and patchouli. Uh, yeah, patchouli and tie dye shirts. Yes, you know, there was a lot of that. There was a lot of tie dye shirts. That was, really yeah, there really was. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. It, it, was, was, like a, yeah. it was like a fucking migraine. Well, it was either tie dye <laughs> shirts or prog prog fest t shirts. So, yeah, yes. so, yeah. It was it was kind of easy to spot. He was there for it was. the witch. But, but to be honest, the prog thing just really did not interfere. Interfere, no, no. And I was admittedly sceptical. Yeah. So I was yeah, very, I think very, very sceptical yeah. with it. Yeah, I think we all were. And, you know, I, I I think it was it was just the loss of real estate that had an impact it on did, the side yes. weekend. was just losing that screening room. And I think that yeah. was the, the only major impact, really. Yeah. Well, there was um, that and, and the, the, the real estate of, um, because the amount of um, caravans, etc., that we're going well, the, to yeah, act, the, the, yeah, the, the, the prog rock act, was not available to get the... But it didn't seem to hurt the numbers in the main void for anything. Um, no. Not that I no, noticed. Not, no, no, I suppose that didn't. All, all the panels but were It was yeah. more of the, the people, because I spoke to um, some other authors and writers um, uh, about it and they all said well authors lot- and writers yes authors and writers yes <laughs> yeah like comic writers slightly I'm different. joking dude it's slightly fine. different <laughs> book authors comic yeah. book writers there is a little bit of a difference there is so fuck you Brendan because <laughs> I say there is this, this is radio they can't see the look on my face I can so I'm judging you. you I am judging you I don't give a fuck yeah <laughs> Tell us about the Writing, scribbly people. Go on. Um, tell, tell us more. They were saying that um, there's at least six people that they knew that wanted to go that couldn't because there was no accommodation available for yeah. them. Yeah. Uh, and they they were wanting to do panels and etc. Oh yeah, that that was in terms of in terms of guests. Rather yes, than guests. Than yes, attendees. specifically yes. I was on about guests. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. And there would have been more sci-fi yeah. guests had there been the availability of accommodation. This is from guests themselves. Yeah. Uh, I think the feedback I got from yeah. other guests. So. Yeah, I think we'll 
we've said already, I think there was other clashes as well that yeah. put the guests up. Yes. I don't think that was good planning on part of SFW. Well, I, I, I don't even know if, they, if they'd have known that the, those clashes were existing when they booked it all. Indeed. That's true. Because you've got to think they, they, they'd have put that date in the diary well over a year ago. True. And whether there were dates available for what MCMs were on and what other Comic Cons were on that weekend. Yeah. It's one of those things. It's going to happen at some point during the year because conventions are getting more and more popular. There yeah. are more and more of them popping up every year. True. Yeah, well, we're going to hit a few more than this year. Well, that's it, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm running out of weekends this yeah. year. I, <laughs> you know? um, Northampton is looking... Yeah. But, yeah, we'll talk about that at another episode. Indeed. So yeah, I mean, yeah, it was it was a cracking weekend in my opinion. There was yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there was <laughs> a lot enjoyed of fun. It. There was a lot of fun. Um, there was, it has split people. It yeah, it has yeah. Um, and I think I think I can see their points in terms of the number and quality and quality of top guests was was lacking this. Year. It was yeah. Um, well, I think they had, they had problems, you know, that they, they had some guests pull out. They had, they had Neve McIntosh, but she pulled out. They got Garrett Wang right. in instead, and he pulled out. Yeah. So you know, they were they were down one, mm. at least one big guest. Yeah, true. Yeah, I, I would have loved to have uh, interviewed Neve. Mm. I've I've heard her on um, some radio interviews, and the way she she acts in different shows that I've seen, it, I think it would have been a really good interview. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm gutted time. that we didn't have more time to speak to Sophie Aldred because I, I know we literally were just settling into the interview and it was like I had to move on. We're like, no. yeah. Yeah. Even Sophie said that herself. Yeah. She she actually wanted to stay and, yeah. and talk with us indeed. Some more. So well, hey, she can always uh, come. Well, to the yeah, show yeah. I, I, we spoke to her about it afterwards and hopefully yeah. we will. But uh, was, that was just like yeah. yeah. It would be nice to get in. Uh, Eight and year, have seven year old me just couldn't believe that was happening. Indeed. You know. Yeah, that was cool. And she was such a lovely person. Yes, um, and we yeah. have to plug her Kickstarter. Oh, yeah. oh yes, which we will. Strangeness in space, because not this is it Sophie Aldred, but it's fucking. It's a Trevor Kickstarter. Trevin Simon. Simon. Trevin Simon. 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 Oh man, we don't it's... do duvets. Sorry, see me pants. <laughs> so, they yeah, do do I strangeness do. in space. <laughs> they do do strangeness in space. Yeah, good plug. <laughs> Yes, so yeah, it's, it's apparently it's a, a new audio comedy drama which is on Kickstarter at the moment. I think it's only just launched. It launched today. Yes, today. Today, yes. Yeah, so, and it's already got a couple of thousand by the time we came out earlier. Yes, we've already funded it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be on there by the end 15, of the week. I think. Yeah. 15,000? I think it was about 3,000 when I came out earlier, so. So yeah, it's Trevor and Simon and it's Sophie Ardred doing a comedy radio show. So yeah, go and fund Get it. Get on it. Yeah. Go and fund, fund it. it. You don't we need, want it. You, you know you want need, to hear it. You don't need me to say anything yeah. more other than the fact yeah. Sophie Yard with Trevor and Simon. Yeah. Go on. This is like 80s nostalgia trip for everybody. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. Just, if you haven't heard any of, of Sophie's kind of voiceover work, then <laughs> do listen to the show and we next put it out week, next, next week, week for the most awesome, awesome. Tree Food Tom, Tree, Tree Tom and Ace and crossover. Ace yeah. mashup. Yeah. It was brilliant. It was yeah. awesome. <laughs> Yeah, thank you for that, Sophie. Yeah, yeah, yeah that absolutely, was, truly, truly that epic. Was, that was epic, yeah. yeah. Love that so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm buzzing. <laughs> that was fucking brilliant. Yeah, well, we just need to start planning next year then, gents. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, the poor Galactic Knights got owned by the Treefers. The treefers. Well, that was it was like 300 366 Yeah, to zero. yeah. So I don't know. Maybe we should take on the tree. Uh, I, I think yeah. we should. We should issue a formal challenge. I think we should. <laughs> and I, we I re- can take on the yeah. troopers next year. I reckon we should, but I need to read it off a lot more. <laughs> I will fail you. So yeah, there you go, troopers. Come on, let's have you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nerd versus world against the troopers. We'll we'll, we'll uh, yeah we'll have we'll, you we'll next take year. up the gauntlet. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've more we than proved our metal in the quizzes this yeah. year, so yeah, come on, bring it on. Uh, so let's give a shout out as well to um, Rami and David and Felix. And yeah, and uh, Gareth. Yeah. 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 For uh, everybody being, who joined in on Team, team Nerd versus, versus World. Team Nerd versus World for the quiz, because you guys were awesome. And yeah. David's knowledge of just everything Anything. Yeah. is just <laughs> insane. Yes, he, so, yeah. he definitely has a mine of uh, 
Randomosities. Random information. Yeah. 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 So that was cool. We had a we had a good team. We had a very good team. So yeah. Cool. We'll be back next year to defend our title. <laughs> <laughs> and win all the good stuff. Cool. Sweet. Cool, cool, cool. Is that it this week? I, I, I think <laughs> so. I'm spent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. I reckon I'm spent. Okay. So, so I, I guess it's just to say thank you very much yeah. to everybody for making it an awesome weekend. weekend. Yeah. yeah. And it all, was all the all the old friends, and friends. Yeah. Yeah. It was brilliant to see you all and can't wait to do it again next year. Yeah. So let's see. see same nerd time, same nerd place. Absolutely. <laughs> same nerd time. Same trek across Mordor. Oh, I fucking love oh, that. Vibe, <laughs> what? I, 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 I deliberately deviated from the sat mouse path yeah if, you, if you've not seen it you have to check out Brendan's Instagram with his uh, Funko Pop file oh, oh, absolutely yeah. legendary <laughs> I'll yeah. tell you what I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll turn to a Twitter pic <laughs> Did because you? my Instagram's on private but yeah. I'll put it up as a Twitter pic yeah do. Can see it, really. I reckon you should uh, hashtag Nathan Fillion in that do it he loves that kind of stuff do it Go on, you know yeah. you want to. If you want some goat to fucking do it. I was going to say, gonna say if, you're not, if, you're, if you're not, I'm retweeting it and fucking hashtagging him into it. <laughs> of course I'm going to do it. Don't worry. Cool. So, yeah. So, yeah. so check out at Nerd vs. World for pictures of bullshit that I do. With <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the competition. Oh, yeah, competition. Um, Strangers in Space, go back it. Yeah, and we'll be back next week with the Sophie Aldred and Sylvester McCoy interviews. Yeah. Which we've got in the interim, and then we'll be back the week after that, back to normal with normal shows. Talking about normal things. And nerdy stuff. Because it's only four fucking weeks until Avengers. I know. Four weeks! How Holy crap! Much fucking squeak. <laughs> oh, uh, um, quick, quickly on the Avengers topic. Uh, Just Wing did an interview. This week, and he was asked if there'd be other heroes we haven't seen yet in this Avengers film, and he said yes. So, if fucking Moon Dragon is in it, I'm calling it. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I called it here first. And there's more on that because he's not going to be doing Infinity War now. He never no. was. The Russian no. Brothers were always going to do that yeah. one. So, that's okay. Just means he, but the, go cast, the cast list for. Make Firefly season two. Uh, <laughs> we, we can but hope. Um, yeah, but he has revealed the cast list for Captain America Civil yep. War. And it's got fucking mm. everyone in it. Yeah. Anyone that hasn't got it, hasn't got Hulk and it hasn't got Thor. Because it's just, it's suspected that Thor is off dealing with the event that leads to Ragnarok yeah, 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 yeah. at the end of Avengers Age of Ultron. Mm. And Hulk is just missing. So there's possibly a, people will... Planet keep, Hulk. Planet Hulk is the thing everyone's <laughs> for. World War Hulk. Yeah. World War Hulk. Mm, could but be. Could I think, be. I think the Marvel docket is somewhat full at the moment, especially with a certain Spider Man coming along. So, yeah. Anyway, that's froth for another That's time. extra nerdage. It is. Yeah, it, there you go. Bonus nerdage. Bonus nerdage. Cool. Anyway, that's all for this episode. Thank you all very much for listening. I've been Brendan. I've been Spindles. And I've been Aidy. And until next time. Take care and be excellent to each other.